those things um, so that you know it'll help help you kind of remember. I'll try to point out some of the important things. Um, we'll keep it simple, but um, just as a as a basic idea here, if we're here in in this uh, car time position, I would like to have inside control. Because when I have inside control, there's nothing that's stopping me from getting to his, his legs. So we're going to talk about this as, um, uh, as an idea of attacking either leg, so left leg or right leg. Right now, I'm, we're in a mirror image stance, okay? So if, when I'm here, I have a bicep tie on this side, and I have a forward tie here. I'm going to make Hudson move his, I'm going to make him step his right leg Forward. So my right leg is forward. I'm going to pull here. Okay, that puts me in a position where I'm going to be in a great position to attack an ankle, uh, like an ankle pick over on this side. So with this collar tie, I'm going to use this control to drive his head over his knee and I control his ankle. Now once he's here, Really easy to to put him down with the ankle pick. <clears throat> so in the key I could hold on to his collar. No key, I'm just in this collar time. So my right leg's forward. I'm gonna make him put his right leg forward. Okay, I'm already loaded, so I start to lower my level. I'm driving his head over his knee. And then that's gonna put me in a Good position to start passing. <clears throat> so that would be attacking the ankle pick. <clears throat> the other thing I can attack is this leg. So let's say <clears throat> uh, right now this leg is forward. In order, in order to attack <clears throat> a single leg, a couple things need to occur. We need a mirror image stance, and I need to be outside his lead leg. So that's the condition I need to set up here. So if I'm here like this, I'm kind of square, I'm just gonna make him step a little bit. Yeah, here he gave me an ankle pick. So let's say I go here like this for to fake him out and he puts that leg back. Yeah, now this leg is forward in my, my right leg is outside of his left leg. <clears throat> so once I'm here, I can drop down and do a sweep scene where I'm circling behind. So I'm going to go here. So I shoot behind. I want to get behind him with my head up and the hips in. I'm going to capture the ankle and the knee. And I'm leaning into him. Uh, a lot of things can happen here. I'm just going to grab his knee for the purpose of this. I still have his ankle. I'm going to start to drive him forward. As I drive him forward, I'm going to pick up his ankle, and then that's going to that's going to put me in a position where I'm in a great position to pass again. <coughs> so, so here I'm going to go here. So I get behind him, ideally. So every time you're on a, a single. <coughs> You would like to step behind him. Need to keep my head up, hips in, and I go here. Now I'm going to put his leg down. And then look, once I get here, I want to keep his knees together. So that's going to give me the ability to pass, you know, one way or the other. Okay? So. What can occur, I get in on a single and I didn't quite get a good enough angle, he's going to overhook my arm and he's going to push my head down and he starts to sprawl. Okay, so he's, yeah, he starts to sprawl. Okay, so look, I'm over here, trying to control, <clears throat> I'm going to post my hands. So my right hand, my back hand, goes to the ground, I put my other one on top of it. Keep my head tight, and I'm gonna tripod up here. Once I tripod up and I'm leaning into him, I'm gonna circle, 
hook and pull his leg. Now I have a hook on this leg. Okay, once you're here, <clears throat> many things can occur, but the if he's leaning this way, see how this leg's up and this leg's down? <clears throat> his weight's going out. So I'm gonna go from here, ankle, knee, lean in. And again, I need to keep his knees together so that he doesn't get his guard and then that will allow me to pass in a lot of different ways. So we get to the single. <clears throat> he overhooks and he's trying to put my head down. So when he puts my head down, that's favoring this. So it's kind of like um, giving me this tripod position. I'm circling, hook, Take his leg. Once I go here, ankle, knee, put him down, and then, like I said, a lot of different things can occur here, but if, if his knees are together, he doesn't have his guard, <clears throat> and it's easy for me to pass one way or the other. So, if we go back, I got, I step behind. Okay, so I have the outside hook, and I'm here. This is the same position <clears throat> as the, the Leche half guard. So if I'm here, and then I can bring that knee to capture his leg, this is the same position as the half guard <clears throat> where I made an outside hook, built my base, and then come up. Okay, so I went from a single leg to this position with a tight place. And now here we have all the things that we could do from that type of half guard attack. <clears throat> so if he wizards my arm really hard, here, whoa. lip arm goes back. So I have a tight waist. My knees are pinching so he doesn't get his leg back. This arm's out for base. I'm gonna drop my shoulder. Chest to back, okay? Or here, <clears throat> he's giving me a lot of energy this way, <clears throat> so a limp arm would work, or the roll uh, under sweep would work. So if I just go here, like this, and I scoop his leg, then. <clears throat> he puts this leg up. If this leg's on the ground, <clears throat> it's difficult for him to, to push into me too much. When he does that, he can push into me. So instead of trying to, like, there's no way I'm getting that, uh, that leg to knock him down that way. <clears throat> so I'm going to be here. I'm going to roll under. I push in a little bit. He pushes back. I roll here. Okay, so like this, and then look, up, and then your pass. So there's many options from there, but those are, those are some of the things you can do, you know, just going from single leg to that half guard attack position, okay?